Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. We're at the range and Sailor Rob had a question. He wanted to know how many feet per second do we lose when we take the same load in a special case and load that into a magnum case. Exact same powder charge with the bigger volume of the magnum case, how many feet per second do we lose? So let's do a, a chronograph test to find out. We'll start with the 44 Special and 44 Magnum, both loaded with 7.5 grains of unique and the same 245 grain Keith semi wide cutter cast bullet. We'll start with the Special loads. So we're shooting 7.5 grains of unique and we're doing the chronograph testing. Here we go. Focus, focus. Well, that was left-handed and the recoil was moving our camera, wasn't it? So the average velocity was 983, 42 extreme spread, standard deviation of 17. That's with the 44 Special shooting 7.5 grains of unique, 245 grain Keith semi wad cutter. Now let's try the same load in 44 Magnum cases and see what that does. Now, the same 7.5 grain to shoot the same bullet loaded in magnum cases. Okay, let's see what that's got. And what we have here is the results of the Magnum brass. Average of 925, extreme spread of 25 for five rounds, standard deviation of nine. So that's pretty good load there. So YouTubers, conclusion and the answer to Sailor Rob's inquiry about how many feet per second is lost when you go to a Magnum case, same 7.5 grains of unique load, same 245 grain bullet, you get an average of 983 feet per second in a special case, 925 feet per second in the Magnum case, a loss of 58 feet per second or 6%. So we can use a 6% to get an approximation whenever we use the same load in a special case moving on to the Magnum case. YouTubers out there take care. We'll see you next video. Bye for now.